The Dr. Elliot and Eileen Hinkes collection of rare books in the history of scientific discovery is one of the most important collections ever to come to the Johns Hopkins University. This collection is especially significant and in many ways unique because it was put together by a unique person with unique interests. There are plenty of collections on the history of science in the world, but there are very few that take as their modus vivendi, their organizing principle, this concept of capturing moments of absolute importance to the history of human discovery and exploration. When you're just reading about these sources, you're, you're thinking mostly about the ideas. But when you actually see them in their, their material form, you get a sense of what it took to produce these, these books in order to disseminate the ideas. Elliot Hinkes, a graduate of both the School of Arts and Sciences and the School of Medicine, compiled the collection over more than two decades. It's an incredible collection. Uh, it's 300 or so items uh, spanning basically 2,500 years of the history of science. Everything from Aristotle to off-prints of Einstein's most important articles. What's so important about these texts is that you can't separate the beauty and the aesthetic quality from the information that's being imparted. It makes me think back to, you know, the collectors of the Renaissance in the 17th century who would get objects from all around the world that they really felt represented the world and they would put them in a certain order. And that would tell not only the story of the world, but that would tell their story. The collections of rare books and manuscripts at the Sheridan Libraries are resources for the university. The items within the Hinkes family's bequest provide a glimpse into the discoveries that inspire continued innovation today. This collection connects what we do in our labs and in our classrooms every day to a history, back to the origins of our first attempts as a society to understand nature in the service of man's estate. These books represent very important discovery in, in scientific history. But when you open it and you start to read it, you start to realize that Eureka is a moment, but it's also a whole, it's also a whole story.